Hey, what's up, guys? It's Athena, and I have five defenders that you need to play in Vector Glare. These are all operators that I recommend new and returning players have because these are kind of the, uh, the meta option right now, and I think they're going to give you a lot more wins in your rank games. Now, first up, we have Alibi. It's really the 1.5 score that makes her gun really stand out because she's a three speed, and she also has a really high fire rate, so it's really easy to get headshots. You guys see a lot of top tier pros playing the Alibi. So I think she is one of the best on the roam. So I recommend that you always run the MX. I mean, the AC is just, it's good for rotate sometimes with holes, but the, the kill percentage is not very high with it. Um, I would re always recommend that you run the Bailiff. The reason I don't say the Keratos, even though it has a lot of damage, is that the Bailiff, you can open up hatches, you can make rotates, lines of sight. And I would recommend you run impacts if you already know you have a shield in case you're really going to get uh, freaky on the roam. All right, we're going to hop on Cafe Reading Bombing Site just to give you guys an example of how you should be playing her. So like I said, you have really have a really short setup time so you can spend time making rotates for your team. And I think with Alibi clones, there's really no like bad way to use her because and if you think about it, they always have to shoot a clone to get rid of it unless they just ignore it. But you can really put them in common spots. Some common spots you think Defender would kind of be and might get some pings on some people uh, this is also a good one just because you know it's really hard to shoot the base you have to go all the way around and expose yourself to a lot of angles to get this get a little confusion they shoot it then you see the mark and then you can just go ahead and pre-fire that ping now taking advantage of the 1.5 scope i get to see anybody that drops a hatch collecting your drones and this really helps with the fast fire rate too so as you can see alibi fills in a big role for the team let's i recommend you definitely buy her i think she's at 15,000 right now, possibly 10,000. Coming at number two, we have Aruni. Aruni is probably one of the best defenders in Siege right now. I think Aruni is best at making lines of sight. She has the DMR she can break, and also her fist is different from every operator, so she can actually make a lot bigger holes too. And I think this really maximizes her ability as a character. Now, she has a really good loadout. If you really like the Roni and you like getting those crispy headshots, I recommend you run. You know whatever site you like very very insane pick rate kind of similar to alibi her dmr is her main weapon insanely good i use the angle grip just because the recoil is already pretty low muzzle break for that first shot accuracy and the 1.5 obviously for that long uh, mid to mid range now we're gonna hop on skyscraper to show you guys why aruni is so good and i think she's probably one of the best operators on this bomb site too so a quick tip for Aruni is that you should just put her gates on anywhere that is a popular window or doorway. So everybody knows people like to go to this window and just shove their face in it. And having a gate here kind of baits them to use more of the utility. Another common place we know people like to enter from is Terrace Door. You could put a close up if you wanted to, but I think it's right here so that they actually have to enter in the bomb site. And the last one, you know, people like to funnel in on here. So like Aruni is kind of like your last line of defense before they enter the bomb site, and you can use them as a bait to find out where an enemy is. And now utilizing her punch holes, so like you can make big holes like this, that's really, really effective. You don't have to worry about reloading. It's just very handy and maximizes her character. Now, kind of a fun fact with the Rooney that you can try in your rank games that if you want to reinforce the opposite side of a normal wall, and then wherever you want to put your bullet with camera, you can actually punch a little hole right here and then put your camera inside of it. And then after that, you can actually put a, a Rooney gate over it. It's um, it's kind of, you know, situational where it want to work. But if you really want information, this is kind of a good, fun combination you can try. And I think one common mistake I see a lot of Rooney players do is putting their gates in not in effective doorways. Like I said, this one has, you know, this doorway. Um, you know, you have this doorway. But like sometimes I'll see people just do like really random ones. Maybe, maybe on like a window that's like kind of like not very highly contested um you know it's just making sure there really is no wrong door to put a runa gate on because sometimes it's gonna always work but just kind of be mindful of okay is this actually gonna help the round or is it just gonna be like you know they can just bypass it coming at number three we have mute mute's been in the game for since the game came out we took a look i think mute is best at map control i think mute you know he can also have a little bit of wall denial he has the SMG-11 and the shotgun for like any range of gunfight. Has a C4, you know, he's good in almost every situation you can ask in Siege. And on my SMG-11, I've been using Red Dot lately, but I think overall, Hollow A is the best one, which is the original one. Or Reflex, you should try whatever you like. Um, I don't use a laser on it, but I know some people like to do it. Put Vertical Grip, Flash Hider, that's my setup. And you should always, always run C4 over the Bulletproof, just because C4 is always 
better at uh, denying plant or getting easy kills but like i said coordinate with your team if you want to bring the bp so we're back on skyscraper and i want to show you guys why mute is also still very strong all right so let's first off you know you can make site rotates which you're mostly in charge of any shotgun players are in charge of the site rotates i'll just be doing a light one just because for demonstration um next after you make all the site holes you know put your me jammers on you know common walls that people tend to do everybody knows that right but i also think a lot of things you could do is also using your me jammers aggressively kind of like a mozzie pest almost so after we you know we've gotten most of the site um denied now i think mute personally is like he's become less of a wall denial kind of person just because um his mute jammers if you don't know they don't affect the whole wall anymore um a little bit above it right here doesn't get affected anymore so that's a little thing to be careful about um but like i said like an aggressive mute jammer would be like walls a little bit further outside of the site so you know places like this you can roam over here he, mute could be a roamer he doesn't have to always be a site player uh just because like i said his kit is so useful and he's like the mozzie of denying information at, at the uh, entry points so this could be kind of be a more of a aggressive mute jammer on a wall of sight um and then here's also one as well um so you could also reinforce this and whenever they try to drone through this uh, doorway obviously it's not gonna reach a little bit but let's say if i were to put it here you know use your mute jammers i think a common mistake people would do is putting the mute jammers in non-traffic uh areas for drones or walls so they're not going to get opened up for example like this would be a bad mute jammer if it was like right here um it just it, it would defeat the purpose of uh info gathering but let's say if i were to uh, put it on this window right here the reason i want to put on the drone hole is because i could sit here shoot it but if you put the mute jammer here then you know people always jump their drone to here and it's just little things like that now if i want to get close range the cl sh this shotgun's probably the best gun you want to have in a close range fight and then obviously for a little bit longer range you can have the smg 11. um and a good use of the c4 what i like to do is baiting people to coming through here and then i would go below put my c4 on the window so this way i get to use it for a free kill i gotta bait the enemy so when i hear them hop in i hold a tight angle i see a pixel move i'm blowing that that's a free kill for me and then like i said mute is very good for map control so like i said the bomb site is over by t but we're holding a lot by exhibition so if i have multiple people on me i'm like a one-man army uh, once i collect like a minute 30 of their time i get it back up and then boom they're lower on time and they're just getting started on site now i would say a pro tip for mute is just mastering he's a very easy operator anybody can get a go with him it's just mastering when to use the smg 11 and believing in your shotgun so obviously you know it's okay to take a gunfight up close like this but but you would most likely win the gunfight if obviously you have your shotgun so it's just really mastering that skill of being comfortable with your range and coming at number four we have wamai wamai is the new jaeger jaeger used to have acog he used to have the best ads gadget but now wamai has the 1.5 and his gadgets he has more over time than jaeger and as we know in this kind of meta um, people tend to be a little bit slower on attack depending on the team you play and he does he can do a lot more than jaeger he's a very simple operator he's similar in alibi very short setup time so you can reinforce a lot um you can use the aug the aug is better for damage wise um it has a little bit lower fire rate takes a little on your screen but i prefer the mp5k just because of the 1.5 and high fire rate still good damage uh, the keratos is really good it's similar to the bailiff like we talked about in alibi it can make a little bit larger head holes also just does a lot more damage you can see 78 damage for a body shot i recommend running impact and um and then beepers in case um these are actually both really good picks i recommend just depending on your setup and where you're playing so obviously like we said we have a very low setup time so i like to take out my pistol so i can run a little bit faster and go grab you know any kind of walls that are a little time consuming so like for example bottom garage so getting all four of these garage walls will kind of help us play a little bit better Get this wall reinforced it's just you this is the same thing as mute is contesting for map control if, if i'm sitting here the entire round and most of the time people attacking this bomb site their objective is to take bottom garage and then to go for the plant already that's how important garage is so if you can hold on to garage really quickly you can really stop an enemy push um giving them like no time to hit the site so just make uh head holes between site like this 
And once you kind of have those holes, then it's really easy. You just got to throw your magnets at this door uh, a little bit right here. And then you can prone, use the 1.5, whatever you like. Just be careful for your angles. I've been playing this position for almost two years now. I'm very experienced at it. And I love playing this uh, position a lot. I would say a pro tip for Wamai is very simple. It's just to stay alive as long as you can. But you also want to uh, have the intention as realizing when you need to die and when playing your life is more important than chasing a kill. Um, the longer you're alive, the more magnets you have, the more utility that clear you're a big pain in the butt to go clear, clear, clear. And the last defender that we have on number five is Malusi. Malusi, I think in ranked, especially just in general, she is like bulletproof our barbed wire. Very, very good at um, holding pieces of map control and also just like it's, it's hard, harder to sneak up and kill you when you're getting wub wub wubbed all the time. So I recommend that you guys don't use the shotgun. This, shot, this shotgun is not that good. I don't need to explain it to you guys. But her MP5, we all know Doc used to have it. He still has it. It's a very strong gun. Um, high fire rate, low recoil, good damage. Uh, very satisfying gun to use. I just recommend you use vertical grip. I, you could, she used to have angle grip, but they took it away. Um, but flash hider, I think is the best thing on her. Just since it's a very high fire rate gun. Um, and then use the pistol and very, very straightforward operator. Um, I recommend running the BP if you guys need more information on site. But if you already have a lot of shotgun players, then I would uh, run the BP over impacts. Obviously, we know impacts are for rotates and stuff like that. All right, guys, we're on Canal. As you guys know, if I was Superman, Canal is my kryptonite. I just don't play good on this map. But I had to pick uh, a Canal for this because I think it's a good demonstration of Malusi. So you want to just mainly put your banshees at areas where it makes a gunfight almost easier for you now i think a common mistake people have to do is like for example putting it like right here I, uh, people don't do this but like for example like it, the banshee is really easy to hit just because as you guys know it, it goes off um when you shoot it so if you get close to it you can just shoot it off it used to be you have to you used to punch it which made it really op but if it was like this, it just goes off. I just shoot it and, you know, there's less resistance to it. But for example, if I were to put it in like an off position where they, it takes our crosser placement off. So let's say if I were to put it like on this door right here, right? If they want to walk through here, they have to immediately turn to the right and they're exposed to 90 and these holes right here. Another decent one is like, you know, midway down the staircase like this, or maybe like a sharp angle right here. By the time this thing goes off, they can shoot it, but this is where it gives you opportunity to swing them. Um, and then it's just really, you don't even have to put them in the most tricky spot. It's just enough to alert your defense. Okay, someone's coming here. Um, that way it's not someone that can sneak through. Like it's either they deal with it in your little position or they don't get past you at all. And obviously use your bulletproof camera for any, you know, important lines of sights. But she's very straightforward and her setup's a little bit longer than Alibi and Lomai, but you can still grab a lot of walls. And being a three speed, you can roam a lot. Get a lot of drones, very, very easy and fun operator to play. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like if this helped you. And if you want to know what are five attackers you need to play, check out this video right here. It will help you a lot.